Hey everybody. <clears throat> I wanted to do a um a casual uh um natural daytime look um that you guys can do for uh for like if you're doing something either on a weekend or you know, going to school or anything you could um you know possibly think of. And um for the eyes, I'm going to be using um, makeup designer, and uh, for the for the cheeks and lips, I'm going to be using um, um, makeup designer as well as a a Bare Essentials uh, makeup product. So so let's let's get started on it. First thing I'm first what I'm going to do is take makeup designers eyeshadow eyeshadow color in the color uh, canyon and then go in with a crease brush like this this one in oh before that sorry I forgot to mention like you want to kind of you know prep your eyes and uh what I'm going to use is, um, Max Painterly Paint Pot. And come slightly up to the brow bone, if you can. And this makes for a great base, keeping the colors vibrant and makes it last longer. Do the same thing on the other eye. And All right, now <laughs> you can get into using the crease brush and makeup designer's eyeshadow color in Canyon. And then put this in the crease, doing a windshield wiper motion. Do windshield wiper motions to blend it in, <clears throat> blend it in well. <clears throat> rearrange all these eyeshadows <laughs> sometime. I'm going to use this brush. Next. Whoops. There we go. Alright. Sorry about that. Next, I'm going to go in with um, Makeup Designer's eyeshadow color Shadow in the color canvas and go in with a, a regular 
eyeshadow brush like this. And then just pat it on the lid. Staying underneath that brown that you just applied. You can also switch switch up this lid color for any other, you know, lid color that you want, along with the um, <clears throat> this eyeshadow color in Canyon in the crease. Like you could do bone, dulce de leche, and a lot of others. done. Okay. Next I'm gonna go in with Makeup Designer's eyeshadow color, I mean uh, cake eyeliner in the color brown. And then go in with the Makeup Designer uh, um, Eyeliner brush number 100. I'm going with my spray bottle. I'm just having Starting in the middle, work your way outward. And then do the same thing on this side. Yes, Vaughn, I hear you. <laughs> Probably should have silenced it before. <laughs> Maybe next time. Okay, and we don't need that anymore. And then get to do mascara. Lastly, I'm going to go in with my the MAC mascara and the Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Finally said it this time. <laughs> Normally it's a mouthful. Okay. I'm going to...
Okay. So. That completes the eyes. Now for the cheeks, I'm going to go in with Makeup Designer is a cheek color blush in Rose Petal. Going in with my with my uh, angled uh, angled blush brush. Just flick it a couple times. Put it on the apples of the cheeks. Like anyone can pull this off anywhere from you know light to medium. Okay, now let's wipe this down. Go in with our cheek illuminator. Okay. And lastly, I'm going to go in with the cheek illuminator in the color Spark. Go in with a powder brush or some, any kind of cheek brush of some sort. And just apply it to the tops of the cheekbones for a nice to add a nice glow. Done with the cheeks. Now lastly, for the lips, I'm going to go in with Makeup Designer's lipstick, it's the satin, lip, satin lipstick in the color Charm, which is a nice soft pink color. And lastly, I'm going to go in with um, uh, Lastly, I'm going to go in with the Buxom Full-On Lip Polish in the color Kimberly, which is also a nice soft pink color as well. Just apply that on top. Alright, and 
that's it for the look. So, hope you guys had fun watching that. And uh, let me know if there are any um, videos you want to see down below. And uh, hope you all are having a great new year. And I'll, uh, t I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!